Casey Boots Backing up the goose and egg Loading up her pure bread Got no time to lose The roses are settling in the bed Kiss her mama on the head Jumps in and throws it in drive Turning and burning And that girl's learning How to buckle down and hold on tight Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Um, so basically what my channel is supposed to be for, I am doing like horse training and tips and um, just different types of, uh, just different types of things that either you have an issue with or you need help with or if you have a question just feel free to ask and I, I will do my best to answer you if I don't get to your question I will probably in the future um, so here with me I have my old horse rodeo um, he is um, he's 28 years old and he he is, I'm not riding him much anymore, but um, he's still kicking, so that's a good thing. Um, but he's just, I'm going to use him for a demo today. Um, I'm going to show you how I groom my horse and how uh, I tack up and stuff. And um, I'm hoping my next video will be... Um, different types of barrel racing drills and how to improve your turning and speed and stuff like that. Okay, so we're gonna start off with grooming first. Um, my first brush I use is a curry comb. Um, this is um, just a regular curry comb. It is, um, it's just blue, it's just rubber, it's just a standard curry comb. And what I do is you move in circular motions across your horse's body. And you can see it gets all this hair and dirt and stuff out. And what you do is you go across the whole entire body. But since he's really old and skinny, I want to do it very gentle so I don't um, hurt him and not make him uncomfortable. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, brush him all over with the curry comb. And it really does get all this dirt and sweat and just any loose hair out. and they really do enjoy it. Make sure to get under their belly and under their mane. get it everywhere. Um, I don't curry comb the legs, but if that's something that you feel the need to do, go ahead and do it. I mean, it won't hurt not to do it, but if it's just something that you um, feel the need to do, I would just do it anyways. Or if you're putting boots or wraps or stuff on them, I would recommend doing it. Um, the next brush I use is a standard soft or hard brush. What I do is um, I go in small little flicks just like that and um, it, make, it gets all the hair off of the loose hair that we got up and dirt off of um, him. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, so now that I have um, completely brushed them off with the hard brush, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to um, brush out his mane and I use a um, tail tamer by Professional's Choice. I think that one of I think this is, is this is a really good brush to use. I've had it for a few years now, and I just think it's just um, it's a really good brush. And there's really no special trick to brushing out his tail or mane. So um, what you just have to do is you just brush it. I I just brush his mane. I mean it won't. It's I mean he's. It doesn't hurt him, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so now that I've brushed his mane and his tail, you can see it's very, very, just not, it's not, um, knotted or in a rat's nest or anything. It's completely detangled and pretty and straight and that's what I love about that brush it just gets all the tangles out and it's just amazing and I love it so much um the next thing is one of the hardest um things it's picking out your horse's hooves and um I usually do this every time I ride but I'm gonna show you guys how I do that um First thing I use is a hoof pick. I use the one that has the brush on this side and the pick on this side. And what you do is you hold it like this and you get your the hoof in the other hand and you just pick it out. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Okay, so how you do this is first of all, you want to pick up your horse's hoof. And then you can see he has a lot of dirt in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pick it out And no, this doesn't hurt him. And he does need to get his feet done again. Quit. So just get it out as good as you can. It's okay if there's some stuff in there, but that's just um, that's just how you really want to do it. I mean, there's a personal preference, but um, I just try and get as good as I can out of the hoof, and um, most of it will kind of come out once you're riding. Okay, so now that you have fully groomed your horse, what you really want to do is you want to start checking up to ready to go ride. Um, so what I do is I first put on the saddle pad. So I'm gonna go get mine. Um, this is my saddle pad for uh, rodeo, which you don't really use much anymore because I don't ride them. Um, so this is just a weaver leather. It's really thick because he has a really skinny back and it's it's got wool on the inside. You can tell how much we've used it in the past, but um, this is just what I use for him because I find it the best and it's really thick and I love it. So what you want to do is you want to put it on their back and you just, I usually put it like right here because it that's where it usually fits just right there on the shoulders because I know it's gonna move back a little bit so it will move off of his shoulder when he stretches when we ride but um yeah this is just how the saddle pad goes on and you just want to make sure it's in the straight in the middle and there's nothing under it 
uh, picking at him. And uh, just, you want to just make sure everything is, there's nothing under it bothering him. And he's all fine. And then the next thing you want to do is put your saddle on. Um, this is my saddle. I don't know what brand it is, but um, I love it. And it's just, just a great brand of a saddle. And I love it. And what you do is you just want to throw it up there, but set it there, set it up there on, set it up there gently. <laughs> and yeah, my breast collar does sometimes get under there in the stirrups, but it's all a-okay. All you have to do is just take the um, breast collar up from under the saddle. And sometimes the saddle will kind of slip a little bit, but it's all okay. We'll get it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Usually he doesn't mind. Because he's broke. Really, really broke. So my saddle sits right here on his back. Um, just right where this line is. Right where this line is and just where the growth strap kind of ends up kind of right here because that's where um, it'll be when we ride and just um, then when we tighten up the girth which I'll show you in a few minutes but um, here what we do first is we make sure our girth on this side is situated and make sure everything's out of the way. So the breast collar and um, the stirrups, make sure it's all up, all out from under the saddle. And what you're gonna do is you are going to reach under the horse and bring the girth up. You wanna make sure, put your stirrup on the horn. And then what you want to do is you want to thread it through the, um, the, the, the ring here and then um, with mine you can just undo it like that and then it's just ready to tie up and then what you're going to do is you are going to thread it in again just like that and then you're going to go in the ring again and you're going to go up and you're just going to tighten it a little bit and then I'm going to leave it like this. You put this in here. Or let's just do it again. Okay. All right. And then I'm just going to let that hang right there. And then what you're going to do is you are going to do up the breast collar. So I'm going to go around and take Make sure the breast color is good. So I'm going to take it off the horn and then I'm going to let it down. And then what I'm going to do. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the buckle and then I'm going to thread it through here. And then I'm going to, um, since he is really small and um, this saddle doesn't have breast collar rings, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it again. And then I'm going to do the buckle. And that's how I do up the breast collar on him. And then what I do is, since there's no room for a Texas T-knot, what I usually do is I just th put it in here, put it in the holder and just make sure it's really tight enough to where, um, to where it won't slide. So um, then you're going to do this piece in between their legs. 
So what um, I have down here is uh, the clip broke on my wrist collar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a just a knot down here. And well, maybe I usually have to tie it double. And I just use a piece of string in case um, it gets caught on a leg and we can just cut it and stuff. So that's what I do down there. And then um, he is all completely ready. So what I have to do next is I just bridle him up and I jump on him and ride him. But um, I'm not going to be riding him today. So I'll have to untack him and all that. But I'm going to show you guys how I bridle him real quick. Because um, since he's older, uh, I, I bridle him a different way than my younger barrel horse. So um, I'm going to show you guys how I do that. So just like any other rider, I usually just put my bridle on the horn when I'm tightening him up or I'm taking him to a flatter spot to ride him or to put the bridle on and stuff and get ready to ride. But um, this is what I use. I just use a Hackamore um, nose band. And what I have is I just have the matching um, head stall for the breast collar. And then I also just have some black um, reins that I tie knots in to make them a little shorter. So, I'm going to move you guys if I can to show you his face a little bit and I'll show you guys how I bridle him. Back up son. Back up. Back up. Good boy. So um, this is his sweet face. Um, anyways, I'm going to show you guys how I bridle him. So first I'm going to take his halter off and I don't normally put the halter over him like this so I still have him because he's so broke that he's not going to go anywhere. So what I do first is I put the reins over his head and then I make sure the throat latch is out of the way and I just make sure the chains don't go in his mouth. And then I just slip it on just like a halter, just like a halter. And then what you do, if I take the halter off, I'm gonna hang it up right here. And then it is kind of low a little bit. Um, it won't go up any higher. So I just have to uh, deal with what I have. And then what I do is I just do the throat latch. And then I, the reins all situated and then we go ride. Um, so this is just what he looks like. I'm going to um, make sure he gets a lot of treats and just, that's just how I tack up. I mean, there's a lot of preface preferences um, to tacking up, but um, this is just how I tack him up but I tack up my barrel horse um, in a different way because they're more high strung and I have a lot more tack on her than him because he used to be a barrel horse, but um, he's just an old pony now. So um, I will do a video of tacking up my barrel horse soon, but if I don't, um, I will get to it as soon as I can and I'll also do a tacking up English video since I do have English tack and um, I can show you guys that but um, this is just my western video for now because that's usually what I ride but um, yeah that's um, that's just how I tack up and just make sure you like share and subscribe and I will get back to you guys as soon as I can.